the new long-awaited and very highly anticipated Wuxin Ocean KG935H. 935H is now available for purchase. And as usual, I, the world-renowned queen of all that is GMRS, and very soon to be the king of Ham's radio, will be the first to share it with you, my current viewer. Actually, if I'm being honest, I'm not really sharing this radio with you first, because I shared this new radio a week or so ago to my supporting channel members in a video that I made just for them. Those are the viewers that support me and my channel by clicking on the join or thanks buttons below. And I only bring this up because in a video a few weeks ago, I briefly mentioned making videos that only my supporting channel members can watch. And some people became very, very butthurt. It seems that some people decide to become very butthurt whenever I and probably other YouTubers mention their paid channel members. So for the sake of those very sad and broken little people, I just wanted to be sure to mention my paid channel members one more time. Paid channel members. Anyway, in this video, I will very quickly go over some of the features and options of the new Wuxin Ocean KG935H, 935H, 8 watt unlockable hams radio. And I swear to you here before Xenu that I will do my very best to keep this video short and to the point and focus only on those features that I care about. The cost for the new Wuxin Ocean KG935H. 935H is $149 of monies. And yes, that price does include free shipping. And just to be clear, my friends at buy2wayradios.com did send me this new Wuxin Ocean. KG935H, 935H. They did send it to me at no cost so that I could share it with you, the very person that is currently watching this video. Affiliate link below. When you purchase the new Wuxin Ocean KG935H, you will receive a user manual, 102 pages long, and allow me to just say something about the manuals that you get from radios sold at by 2 which, by the way, is the only authorized dealer in these United States for this Pacific radio and several other Wuxin Ocean radios. It is my firm belief and opinion that by 2 writes the best user manuals for any of these lower-cost type radios. And this user manual is written in perfect, perfect English, and it explains everything in depth using easy to understand words. You will be hard pressed to find a better user manual, even at a much higher price point. You will receive a belt clip that attaches to the radio, not to the battery. You will receive a battery charging cradle and power adapter brick. You will receive this very handsome and very stylish yet functional wrist strap. You will receive not one, but two antennas, both with standard SMA female type connecting holes. One is for the HAMS 2 meter and 70 semimeter frequency range. The other, I think, is for the HAMS 1.25 meter frequency range. You will receive a battery this battery holds 2,600 milliamp hours of electricity, and it is chargeable either by the previously mentioned charging cradle or via its USB-C's hole. And the battery also has a charging status indicator LED. I only mention this because many lesser radios have no such charging indicator, leaving you guessing as to whether or not the battery is charged up all the way or not. And you will receive the new Wuxin. Ocean, KG935H, 935H, handheld HT 
Ham's Radio Walkie Talkie. On the top of the radio, you will find an on and off knob and volume control button, a channel selector knob, a standard SMA male type antenna appendage, as well as this very small yet surprisingly bright flashlight. On the side, you will find the push to talk trigger and two programmable buttons. And behind this magic door, you will find a standard K1 type connector hole. And you will note that the magic door retention screw is engineered to remain attached to the magic door, even when turned upside down. This screw does not fly off and disappear under the refrigerator, as with many lesser quality radios. Channel mode 2. The radio has a very sexy lady that talks to you. Two, six, two, seven. And the radio has a full color screen that works surprisingly well in bright, direct sunlight. The radio has an IP66 rating, which means that it is safe to play with in the bathtub, as long as you do not drop it. The radio has 999 custom programmable channel slots, it can receive commercial FM radio, and the radio has the NOAA weather channels built in. And it also receives the NOAA weather alerts, so NOAA will let you know if it's going to rain for 40 days and 40 nights. Speaking of the screen, you can adjust the screen brightness, so you can make it either better to view in bright daylight or to be more stealthy and tactical in the dark. And by the way, the more stealthy in the dark mode also makes the battery last longer. And the screen colors are themable. And the radio comes with several themes to choose from, including the Not A Ruby theme, which features the iconic orange and black stylings of the world famous Not A Rubicon Jeep. And yes, this radio does have a Roger beep. This radio does not have a super heterodyne type receiver. It is a homodyne. Homodyne type receiver, and this means that some people will no doubt declare that this radio is nothing more than cheap Chinese junk. However, I would like to point out that some people are idiots and should be ignored because no normal person is going to notice the difference. However, one thing I would like to point out is that this radio has two independent and separate radio receivers inside, making it a true dual homodyne, sometimes referred to by us radio experts as a homodyne, homodyne radio. This means that whilst listening to two different frequencies at the same time, it is not one receiver quickly switching between the two frequencies like on those lesser radios. This radio is actually using its two independent homodyne receivers to listen to the two different frequencies just like if you had two different radios sitting next to each other. And this is also why this radio is also able to act as a repeater. I will discuss that more momentarily. Fucking store, you lazy fuck stuff before on Amazon. There you go. The new KG935H, 935H, is a tri-band radio. For all of you non-radio experts, the word tri means more than one. So out of the box, this radio can transmit on the HAMS 1.25 meters frequency range, the HAMS 2 meter range, and the favorite range of most HAMS radio operators, the 70 Siemeneters range. And out of the box, this radio is locked to transmitting on only those aforementioned safe and legal hams radio frequency ranges. However, with just a little finger banging, you can very quickly and very easily unlock the radio, basically turning it into a full function, unhobbled, well-rounded emergency communications device. However, I would also like to point out in what will no doubt be a very futile exercise in trying to prevent some people from leaving stupid comments, I would like to point out that unlocking this or unlocking any radio is not illegal. Unlocking a radio does not violate any laws, nor does it break any rules or regulations in these United States of America. In despite of some people leaving stupid, ignorant, and moronic comments proclaiming, proclaiming that unlocking a radio is illegal, 
and you will get a fine or go to jail if you unlock your radio. These are simply fairy tales that some people continue to spread in very obvious and lame attempts to try and make themselves feel more important. It is also a fallacy that transmitting outside of the ham's frequencies on an unlocked radio is illegal. That is not true. There are no laws against transmitting on an unlocked hams radio. However, doing so could violate FCC rules or regulations, which are not laws. Allow me to elaborate. The fine men and women of Congress make laws. The FCCs and the ATF make rules. Many people refer to them as regulations. And as has been mentioned on this very channel in the past, many people simply refer to them as a power grab and an insult to the Constitution of the United States. However, there are many cases when transmitting with an unlocked radio does not even break those rules. For example, transmitting outside of the intended frequencies to protect life or property in an emergency situation when there are no other means of communication available is well within the rules and regulations. Or maybe you do not live in these United States and therefore you do not fall under the jackbooted thumb of the United States federal government, or perhaps, and this is probably the case with most people interested in purchasing a radio of this type, you may not be concerned about the so-called rules because you do not fall into the category of a whiny little bootlicker. To unlock this radio, thusly releasing its full potential as an emergency communications device, you simply do the following. Number A, you turn the radio off, thusly. Number three, you hold down the number two button whilst you turn the radio on at the same time. When prompted, you enter the password 1445, and the radio is now an unlocked emergency communications device, allowing it to transmit on amongst other frequencies, GMRS, and the MERS. And the radio does remain unlocked if you turn it off and back on. However, one must bear in mind that even though this radio in its unlocked mode can transmit on GMRS and the MERS frequencies, this does not make it a MERS or a GMRS radio. This is still a hams radio, technically, now more like an LMR or business radio, meaning that the radio does not have the GMRS channels pre-programmed into it, nor does it have any of the MERS or GMRS guardrails for things like power levels or bandwidths, nor does it have any of the GMRS repeater offsets. Nay, this is a big boy radio and you will have to do everything yourself, just like a big boy. However, if you come to the realization that you are not a big boy or if you fear the feds banging on your door at 3 a.m. and shooting your dog because you transmitted on an unlocked radio, you can very easily relock the radio by holding down the number one button whilst turning the radio on, thusly. And yes, this is the exact same way to unlock and relock several other Wuxin ocean radios, so please do not leave a stupid comment trying to impress us all with your useless radio trivia powers, because just like when you are at home with your family, nobody cares. This radio is not chirp compatible yet, so if you want to optionally use your computer to program the radio, you will need to download the free Wuxin Ocean software from the buy2aradios.com website, and you will also need a programming cable, such as this, which costs about $16 of monies and is also available from the buy2aradios.com website. However, the cable and software are not required to use this radio as you can do everything you need to do directly on the keypad, just like a big boy. It was only moments ago that I mentioned that this radio has two individual separate and independent internal homodyne receivers, which is one of the reasons that this radio costs more monies than many lesser radios. And it is these two separate dual internal receivers that allow the radio to function as a cross-band repeater. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right. This radio works as a repeater, a cross-band repeater. Allow me to elaborate. You can set this radio to listen on one frequency, say 
446 my gigahertz and set the second receiver to retransmit everything live, not a recorded clip, onto a different frequency as long as that different frequency is in a different band. So for example, you could have the radio retransmit whatever it hears on 446 my gigahertz onto 145 my gigahertz. Unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate this on camera due to my lack of a hams radios operator license and I would never actually do this, but I can confirm that it does work and it works quite well. I know this because I just did it. However, it does not operate as well as a real purpose-built repeater, so don't get any ideas about setting this up as a repeater for your club or anything stupid like that. However, as a down and dirty emergency cross-band repeater, it does work very well. And yes, if you are in unlocked mode, the radio can transmit to and from the GMRS frequencies. Again, I would never do this, but when I did it, it worked quite well. However, because there are Pacific FCC these rules, rules, not laws, about not repeating GMRS frequencies out of band, you should never do this like I did. You have been warned. The box says that this radio transmits at up to 8 watts, so let's test that. At 145 my gigahertz, this radio outputs 8.5 watts. At 223 my gigahertz, this radio outputs just under 5 watts. At 446 my gigahertz, this radio outputs just over 8 watts. At 462.575 my gigahertz, which just happens to be GMRS channel 16, the radio outputs almost 6 watts. And at 479.9 my gigahertz, which is just about the highest I can get this radio to transmit on when it is unlocked, the radio is outputting 4 and a half watts. And in case you are wondering, this radio has just as many FARs as all other handheld HT walkie-talkie radios that I have tested. And I was able to talk with my friend Conrad, the chef, at his house on his base station radio with a large antenna on his roof, direct radio to radio, no repeater, at his house, 13 miles away. So if you are in the market for a good quality, unlockable radio that can also work as a cross-band repeater and do many other fancy things, the new Wuxin Ocean KG935H 935H might just be the radio for you. <laughs>